Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to successfully pass your session one working in design industry illustrator learn key post assessment. We worked on this the first week of the online distance learning and now that we have completed this session I want to show you how to go about answering all of these questions. It is very important that you understand the fundamentals. When you take the certification exam next year a lot of the questions are going to be questions based on the fundamentals. So let's begin. Once you open up your your geometrics, you will come you come to the work in the design industry and you click on the post assessment. And you're going to take it. So, notice you have 14 questions. You have a time limit of 50 minutes. And if there's a question that you just don't recall or you need more time, you mark it for review. My suggestion is to go through all of the questions first, answer the ones that you know, mark for review the questions you don't know, and then at the end, go in and answer the mark for review questions. So let's begin. This question says, Use, using drag and drop, Arrange the phases of the project life cycle in the correct order. The first part of the project life cycle is you have to plan and analyze what it is you want to do. Then you're going to design exactly what you want to do. You need to build it after you design it. You're going to test what you built. And if everything goes how you plan, then you will implement it and publish it. Make sure at this point you press submit. Once it says lab complete, then you go to the next question. A specific permission which allows for usage of someone's likeness and or image in a project is known as a model release. You want to make sure if you take a picture of someone, you give them a model release so that you are free and clear. Let's say, for instance, you take a picture of someone and put it in a flyer and that flyer makes you a million dollars. If you don't have a model release with that person, that person can come back and sue you for some of your profit. But if you have a model release and you have an agreement, that is a signed contract and they won't be able to sue you. Which type of work is considered to have major copyright protected elements of an original derivative work? A person or an entity who has an interest in the outcome of a project is known as a stakeholder. A stakeholder can be anyone, whether it's the client, your mom, your principal, a community leader. They're all considered to be stakeholders. The act of reducing the number of colors in order to lower a file size is known as dithering. This, you will see something like this question when you're doing the certification prep or maybe even the certification exam for Illustrator CC 2018. In a project, scope creep is an act of a blank change to a project, an unauthorized change. This is something that you never want to do. You want to always get permission from your client to make any changes that you have agreed upon, that you haven't agreed upon. A drawing that does not pixelate no matter its size is a blank drawing. This is a raster drawing. When planning an Illustrator project, which content-based questions are relevant to acts of a client? Choose two. Always pay attention to question that tells you to choose two, choose three. They're very important. For this question, you want to know who is the target audience. And you always want to know what, if any, accessibility concerns need to be addressed. The main point of a design is also known as the focal point. For this question, they want to know, they want you to click on which symbol deals with attribution. Of course, you know there are many forms of attribution that you learned from the videos. But anytime you see just attribution by itself, the symbol that you want to remember is the human body symbol.
The act of reducing the number of pixels in a file is known as downsampling. What is the aspect ratio of a web page set to 1440 by 1080? That's going to always be 4 to 3. Which font family is considered to be best for screen-based documents? Any screen-based document, you want to make sure, and if it's only for screen, let's say you're going to put it on the web page, you want to use Sans Surf. Sans Surf is, for instance, like an aerial. It shows up, it has no feet, and it shows up clear. If you're going to be printing out a document, you may want to go with a Surf-based family font. The spacing between two characters is known as... Kerning. Tracking is the spacing between two or more characters. Don't get that confused. You will have a question like this on the certification prep and or the certification. Now let's see what we scored. When you are done, if it's marked for review, it will have right here the little yellow symbol. You want to go back to the question. If you are done and you have your green boxes, then you just press grade and exit. And you get your score. And just like that, you will have 100%. I hope this helped, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.